I'd always dreamt of traveling to Tibet. I remember being in elementary school when I first saw the Potala, the historical home of the Dalai Lamas. It struck a chord inside. The desire to travel to Tibet became stronger as I learned more about the Tibetans and their incredible passion to achieve a spiritual awareness called enlightenment. My teacher, Glenn Mullen, has been leading pilgrimages to the power places of central Tibet for almost a decade and a half. It was Glenn who invited me to join him in a spiritual pilgrimage to the magical Oracle Lake with his students and friends. I am Steve Dance. I teach music at the University of Georgia. Accompanying us is Kempo Tashi, a monk from Bhutan, a scholar, and an internationally known Buddhist teacher. Please join me in our pilgrimage to the sacred sites of the Dalai Lamas. I had heard of ayahuasca and other plant medicines of the Amazon and their amazing healing powers. In my own search for a cure for a medical condition, I'd always wanted to go there. However, I didn't know where to go or whom to see. Then the opportunity arose for my wife, photographer Geraldine Overton, and I to create a book about ayahuasca. Don Jose Campos, a shaman or curandero, generously invited us to his home in Peru to experience his work with ayahuasca, which is not only an ancient spiritual practice of the indigenous people of the Amazon, but it is also a well-known plant teacher with the power to open us up to other dimensions and to healing. We were also joined by philosopher and musician for shamanic ceremonies, Alberto Roman, who would serve as our translator. Don Jose would introduce us to his friends and extraordinary teachers, a former shaman and visionary artist, Pablo Amaringo, and the biochemist Julio Arce Hidalgo. This is the story of that adventure. Besides a desire to explore the unseen world, I wanted to see if the Balinese gods, working through their healers, could help cure the tremors from my Parkinson's disease. With friend and colleague Alberto Roman, I set out to see if those people who inhabit the middle world, between the worlds above and below, would allow us to see and film what few in the West have ever seen. <laughs> I may never really know what's going on here, but the fact that the Balinese use altered states to communicate with the gods and be guided by them brings me a certain kind of comfort. <laughs> <laughs> 